Good morning, everyone. If we could have everyone take their seats. Thank you, President. Uh, my name is Don Edwards, and I'm the chairman of the board of the University of Illinois. This morning, I have the pleasure of kicking off our event to announce the University of Illinois system will host the 2025 Sustainability Research and Innovations Congress right here in Chicago. I specifically want to welcome and thank Cook County Board President Tony Preckwinkle for being here with us today, and also thank Governor J.B. Pritzker and Mayor Brandon Johnson for their support. The challenges of climate change and the need for innovative sustainability solutions represent the greatest set of challenges in a generation. Our Board of Trustees is deeply supportive and incredibly excited that our university system will be hosting a Congress with such potential, a gathering of the global community to focus on pathways to sustainable solutions to the pressing issues of climate change. At the University of Illinois, I like to say we do things with excellence in scale, and there is no greater problem to address in the world with excellence in scale that the University of Illinois brings to climate change. On behalf of the University of Illinois Board of Trustees, I welcome you to Chicago for our kickoff event and look forward to having you and thousands more from around the world for an SRI Congress that promises to be altogether extraordinary. Now I have the distinct honor of introducing our University of Illinois System President, Tim Colleen, to say a few words about the 2025 Congress. Thank you, Chair Edwards. It's uh, really gratifying to have the Chair of the Board of Trustees with us today for what is a really, 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 really big deal um, uh, for our university. To say that I'm excited doesn't fully convey my enthusiasm that our own University of Illinois system has been chosen to host the 2025 Sustainability Research and Innovations Congress here in Chicago. I have personal reasons because of my research and teaching interests over more decades, possibly than I have fingers. Uh, so I have personal interests in this. It's, a, it's a, a, a catalytic moment. But I'm really proud that the world will come here to this great global city of ours and to our state and for the first time to the United States in terms of this Sustainability Congress, as we need to work and will work towards solutions to the challenges that affect us all. Uh, I also feel a deep sense of mission in what we will do here in 2025. The need to act wisely and quickly is, to put it in the plainest terms, absolutely urgent. The challenges of a changing climate are with us right now, and you only have to look at the headlines on any given day to see many of them. Massive wildfires are now annual events across the North American West and are forever changing our forests. Just last week, unusually warm Pacific Ocean water supercharged Hurricane Otis in a matter of hours, rapidly transforming it into a devastating Category 5 storm that killed numerous people and devastated Acapulco in the region there. And last month, the United Nations made clear that it is growing more difficult to feed much of the world's population, to feed much of the world's population. There are now 745 million people more moderately to severely hungry in the world than there were just in 2015. So we have our work cut out for us to create solutions for our collective future. But as great as the urgency is, this is not a time to despair. It's a time for all of us to get to work finding the means to ensure that the 8 billion people who call our planet home can live well and thrive. The University of Illinois system has raised its hand and committed to being part of what must truly be a global system of solutions, not simply a litany of problems. And we are ideally, I believe, suited to this task. The U of I system is made up of three great universities, research universities here in Chicago and in Urbana-Champaign and a regional university in our state capital, Springfield, our faculty and other researchers are among the world's leaders in emerging technology that is transforming the pursuit of great ideas like AI and quantum science and the technology that right now makes our world work, supercomputing, logistics, rail transport, uh, and, and many more things, smart cities, etc. These advanced technologies, coupled with our position on the leading edge of sustainability research in areas like food production, the preservation of clean water and healthcare, 
position us to lead in the revolution that this moment requires. And as we have demonstrated during the COVID-19 pandemic, the University of Illinois system can respond effectively and directly to a major global challenge when urgency is vital, delivering a strategy and support for the state of Illinois that saved lives and limited the impact of the pandemic. Our location here in Chicago is vitally important too. Chicago is, as I said, a truly global city, big, bold, multicultural, and a magnet for talent and ideas. The region is also resource rich with a breadbasket capable of feeding many, many millions that begins in the fields right on the edge of this metropolitan area. We also have abundant fresh water, arable soil, and among many other assets, a collection of great companies, institutions, and universities, all looking at the decades ahead and working to mitigate the challenges we face in navigating them. We are, in short, a perfect test bed for the ideas those 8 billion people need and why this Congress can be such an important catalyst for our collective future. So thank you all for being here today. I'm excited to get started. Erica. Thank you, President Colleen. My name is Erica Key. I'm the US Global Hub Director for Future Earth and the co-founder of the SRI Congress series. So I wanna talk about sustainability and the idea behind sustainability, that desire for a successful interconnected life in harmony with the planet. It's something that unites us all. It is integrated into every element of our lives, every choice we make, where we live, what we buy, and how we plan for the future. It takes the expertise, life experience, and willingness of every one of us to build that vision of sustainability, but our individual journeys to achieve it may be very different. So how do we begin? By considering what's possible, trying something new, sharing what works, and joining others with a shared target on the pathway to sustainability. This isn't a passive process. It requires action, trust building, decision making, and yes, change. How do we know when we have it right? When we meet our goals, reduce barriers for others on this path, and transform all of this potential energy into something kinetic. That's why we are changing the way we meet and connect at SRI. We have created a space for everyone to come together, to interact, to act, and advance their sustainability goals. This sustainability convening in Chicago is that opportunity to build community, to innovate a way forward, to learn from others, but most importantly, to do. And the world will become a part of it. I look forward to building alliances and opportunities with that coalition of the willing that is ready to make a change and be a positive influence for sustainability in business, government, academia, and our communities. I want to see their results, learn from their experiences, and translate their successes to make sustainability accessible to everyone. I want to be part of that transformation to sustainability that is taking place in Chicago, the state of Illinois, and around the world. And we don't do this alone. We each have something to contribute, a role to play. Research and innovation may be what drives us, but collaborative, sustainable transformations of policy and practice are our legacy. To quote our first SRI Congress, when it comes to sustainability, we are all stakeholders. We look forward to making the sustainability journey together with the University of Illinois system and all of you in Chicago, Illinois, and around the world for SRI 2025. Thank you very much. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Nice to see you, everyone. My name is Angela Tovar. I'm the Chief Sustainability Officer for the City of Chicago. And on behalf of Mayor Brandon Johnson and the city, I am honored to join our friends and our leaders for this exciting day and this exciting announcement, including Cook County President Tony Preckwinkle and our Consul General Torres, nice to see you, 
And we're here today thanks to the U of I system leadership, including Chair Don Edwards, President Timmy, Timothy Colleen, and Professor Don Wubbles, as well as Dr. Maria Allay, Erica Key, and Vera Mitzner, who granted this opportunity to our city. Thank you very much. I stand before you today with immense pride and excitement as we announce that the greatest city in the world, as our mayor often says, will be the host city. He always says the greatest freaking city in the world, that's correct, uh, will be the host city for the Sustainability and Innovation Congress in 2025. After successful convenings in Australia, South Africa, Panama, and Finland, it is truly an honor for our city to be the first U.S. city selected to host the SRI Congress. This prestigious event will bring together the brightest minds in sustainability from across the globe to our city. We are, in my humble opinion, the best city to host such a large and important gathering. As the third largest city in the U.S., Chicago stands as a testament to human ingenuity and urban beauty. Not only are we a vibrant, world-renowned, and iconic city, we are a hub for finance, culture, commerce, industry, technology, and transportation. We take great pride in our rich history of innovation, and we continue to be at the forefront of sustainability. In 2008, Chicago made history by becoming the first major American city to create a comprehensive climate action plan. And we have since updated that plan in 2022 and have launched partnerships and programs across the city to reduce carbon emissions, to create green spaces, and to connect our residents to meaningful resources and opportunities. Our administration is deeply committed to intentionally investing in policy and infrastructure that improves our quality of life, while also creating new opportunities for community wealth building, workforce development, and increased access to educational opportunities within Chicago's growing green economy. Environmental justice is not just a concept in Chicago, it's our mission. Here, we recognize the disparities in air quality and access to green spaces that disproportionately impact our black and brown communities. For that reason, and for so many more, we look forward to hosting the SRI Congress and exploring collective pathways to address these disparities head on to create a more just future and city for end world. The SRI Congress will provide a platform for Chicago to showcase the innovations happening in our city, particularly through the esteemed institution, the University of Illinois system. Our city's many centers of learning and cultural exchanges will serve as a place for dialogue throughout the SRI Congress. From our unique ability to host large gatherings to our commitment to environmental justice, Chicago is an ideal city to host these important discussions. I speak on behalf of Chicago when I say we are grateful, thrilled, and looking forward to 2025. Together, we can embark on a journey of innovation and collaboration, ensuring that every resident of our great city and beyond can thrive in a safe and healthy environment. We look forward to a transformative SRI Congress in 2025. Thank you very much. Good morning. Good morning. I'm very grateful to be here this morning. My name is Tony Preckwinkle and I'm president of the Cook County Board of Commissioners. You know, climate change is a threat that affects all of us, but it disproportionately impacts communities of color and communities that lack resources. And I've always felt that addressing climate change is an equity issue. Our responsibility is clear. We must act urgently and collaboratively across all levels of government to address this global challenge. And I wanna begin by commending Mayor Johnson for reestablishing the city of Chicago's Department of the Environment. Um, we haven't had a Department of the Environment for more than a decade, much to my chagrin. Uh, in Cook County, we've been prioritizing climate resiliency, renewable energy, air quality improvement, and solar adoption. The SRI Congress provides a vital platform to not only shed light on these critical issues, but also to showcase solutions that are emerging from our very own communities. 
Investing in initiatives that create healthier and greener communities will undoubtedly benefit generations to come. I'm a grandmother and we want to ensure that our legacy is one that is favorable to our children and grandchildren, a legacy of sustainability and prosperity. I want to join others and take a moment to express my gratitude to President Colleen and the University of Illinois for their unswerving commitment uh, to this important endeavor. Thank you, President. Their support and collaboration have been invaluable and we're excited to be part of this effort together. The Sustainability Research and Innovation Congress is the largest gathering of its kind and focuses on evidence-informed, inclusive in approaches to sustainability. It brings together the best minds, innovators, and leaders from across the globe to address the world's most pressing environmental issues and promote systemic transformations towards sustainability. In 2025, Chicago and Cook County will not only welcome the world to our great city and our county, but we'll also welcome the opportunity to drive positive change and inspire others to join us in this crucial mission. Together, we can work towards a more sustainable and resilient future. Thank you all. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. My name is Maria Yule. I am a program director of uh, international activities at the National Science Foundation. But most importantly today, I'm here representing the Belmont Forum. And the Belmont Forum is a consortium of NSF-like uh, funding agencies, 31 of us representing 55 different countries across the world. We come together to create opportunities for transdisciplinary research. And you may be asking yourself, what is that? Uh, transdisciplinary research is all about understanding how natural scientists and social scientists can engage with communities and stakeholders to understand the critical challenges that these communities are facing, especially around climate change, uh, sustainability, and the like. And we are here to create those opportunities to provide international consortia to come together and work together to solve these problems. And we recognized very quickly on in the development of this that there was no venue for these wonderful results and to build community to happen. So we uh, joined forces with Future Earth to bring SRI Congress to life. And we have since uh, been able to bring over several thousand people together over the past several Congresses. And we are over the moon excited to have Chicago being uh, the first US cho uh, city chosen to host this Congress. What we envision here is a great opportunity for the communities of Chicago to come together to work and to engage with the research community, to lower those barriers to communication, to collaboration, so that the ideas and the um, the ideas and the uh, challenges that the communities are facing can go directly into the university system, so that there's a co-design. It's not science answering your questions. It's you coming up with your questions and us figuring out how science can help that. And so that is the spirit of SRI. And we look forward to having a wonderful meeting here in uh, Chicago and in the best freaking city there is. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. I might have brought the snow from Colorado. I'm sorry. We got some snow on Sunday and now it's snowing here, so you can blame me for that. I'm Vera Mitzner. I'm the Associate Director uh, of the Future of US Global Hub, and I'm also the Director of the Sustainability Research and Innovation Congress. Maybe first a couple of words about Future Earth. So Future Earth is a global group of researchers and practitioners supporting informed transformations to sustainability. And as Maria mentioned, we have collaborated with the Belmont Forum very closely and the SRI Congress is a fruit of this collaboration. So SRI has brought together 2000 participants each year around a rich program that in 2023 
included almost 300 sessions and activities. SRI is unique in its diversity and focus on engagement and action. Together with our satellite events, so we have satellite events each year as well. And for 2024, we already have an event confirmed in South Africa. We engage participants from over 100 countries for an inclusive conversation that is truly global and transdisciplinary. By moving the Congress around the world, we build a community wherever we go. And through our event, we connect these communities into a global conversation. Over the years, we have experimented with interactive formats while improving the program design and increasing inclusion through new elements, such as the SRI Open Day. We had our first Open Day in Panama this year and it was a huge success. So we basically engaged with the local community um, and opened the doors of the Congress for an entire day. Our program has grown by 100 sessions each year. We started with 100 sessions, we had 300 sessions this year. So it's been a snowball. SRI 2024 will be held in Finland, and we are looking to stay on our growth trajectory while connecting with new stakeholders and actors to increase the impact and inclusivity of the Congress. Thank you, and I look forward to seeing you at the latest in 2025. Good morning. I'm Don Wobbles. Good morning. Um, I'm Don Wobbles. I'm a professor, emeritus professor at the University of Illinois, and also a senior scientist here at the Discovery Partners Institute. Um, as a scientist studying our changing climate, I really appreciate everything that was said before me today about the importance of this Congress in coming to Chicago. I also want to thank the networks and reporters that are here because you're the ones that can help us communicate the, such an important event to the public of Chica people of Chicago and, and elsewhere. Let's face it, humanity is at an inflection point. Our changing climate is one of the most important issues humanity has ever faced. Very related to this are major issues facing our region, the state of Illinois, the United States, and our planet associated with what is called nature capital. This includes biodiversity, land use change, soil health, fresh water availability, air and water quality. These stresses are further amplified by the growing human population and associated food and water needs throughout the planet. We all need to determine how to handle these important issues. That is why this Congress is so important coming to Chicago, where we can put some additional focus on looking at the pathways to sustainability. When I wrote the proposal to hold this meeting in Chicago, I emphasized that hosting this Congress in Chicago will demonstrate the leadership role that Chicago is bringing in these activities to our nation and to the world through its applications of transdisciplinary research. In addition, Chicago as a host will have an increased opportunity to learn from others. The University of Illinois campuses, along with our colleagues at other universities in the region, are major contributors to the research and innovation contributing to these solutions. And we will share that within this Congress. At the same time, we will learn how others are applying research and innovation to understanding, mitigating, and adapting to these major stresses. The Congress will provide a novel platform to learn from each other in our work on global environmental and sustainability issues. I'm really looking forward to it. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Um, it is such a privilege to be here speaking not only on behalf of my country, Mexico, that has 
Dr. Killeen mentioned, was affected precisely a few days ago by these issues that we will be discussing in, in a couple of years here in Chicago uh, with the Hurricane Otis that devastated the city of Acapulco. But also I'm speaking on behalf of the Chicago Consular Corps. Uh, and, and I have to say that I need to congratulate all the organizers, uh, the creators of this Congress, but also the city of Chicago uh, Cook County and the state of Illinois, because this is a major, major task, the one that you're embarking on uh, today, initiating today. The process to organize such a Congress is, is huge. And let me tell you how I say it. It's, it's huge not only because it's going to be, as, as it was described, a gathering of brilliant minds and scientists, in, you know, exchanging um, you know, different research and, and innovating and creating solutions for one of the most urgent um, issues that humanity is, is facing nowadays, but also because it is going to be in Chicago uh, where many consciousness could uh, awaken. So that's a major task. That's a major task for the organizers. On the one hand, to do that, to awaken con the consciousness of the United Republic, contribute in that task, but secondly, to also create momentum for, for a stronger willingness of decision makers, politicians, you know, private uh, private sector, uh, everyone should this. And the last one is to energize the younger generations. We need to make sure that everybody is aware of what's going on with the world and we need to awake the world uh, to, to this matter, to see this matters clearly. And that's also gonna be part of our task as the Chicago Consular Corps. Uh, we're committed to bring the world to events like this. This is something that cannot be resolved by one country, by one city, is, is a matter that is gonna be addressed or should be addressed as we know for sure, scientists know that, uh, it needs to be addressed by everybody, all the world. So uh, I, I make the commitment on behalf of the members of the Chicago Consular Corp that as many countries as possible will be present here in this wonderful city uh, to be part of this event. The solution is in the hands of the world. Thank you. Thank you very much, Consul General uh, Torres. Um, uh, just a few closing comments. Uh, if you're hearing this and you see the array of speakers and the, the coming together of our community, uh, this is a Congress like no other, really. This is not an academic conference leading to papers that will be in archival, dusty journals. Um, this is a, a solutions-oriented coming together of communities, plural, that will look at the future of society writ large. And we want all ages, particularly the youth, to be inspired, to feel hope, to feel that they have a pathway forward uh, to, to in engage in this. We need all ethnic backgrounds as well. This needs to be absolutely inclusive and particularly for underserved communities. Uh, we need to throw the doors wide open for this. So companies, if you're listening, join us. This is important to your future too. Uh, join us in any way that makes sense to you. Let's explore how to move the needle together, not just to worry about it or to fret about the next uh, quarter. Here in Chicago as a model for the future, here in the Midwest as a model for the future with food, land, water, uh, cities, um, uh, and, and here in the United States as a model for the world, why not exercise our vibrant uh, intellectual leadership potential and pathways to demonstrate where we need to go together in the whole world, including the global south. Thank you all for being here today. 